Welcome to Joe and Zach's Survival. This video is going to be on identifying a choke cherry tree. We've got tons of them here on my property. And uh, they get those little berries that so many different plants have the same type. This is a young choke cherry tree. Let's go inside and we'll take a look at the bark on that. Well, I went inside the woods, but it's a little bit too dark there. I just went from the yard into the woods. And here you can see what the leaves look like. They're kind of shiny. The main thing, the reason why I'm showing this now, is just look at this flower. If you think you have a choke cherry tree in the fall, you're afraid to eat any of the berries, look at that flower. That is what they look like, and right there is where all the little choke cherries will be. The bark on these young ones is very smooth. Almost looks like a birch tree before they get their white bark. Here we can see, just look at all the flowers on this. These young ones get so many berries. And this tree is probably 10 feet tall. Small. They're just a bush, basically. Brush, but they get really big. Here we have an older choke cherry tree. I suppose this one's 40 feet tall. I've got a ton of them like this in the yard. Let's go up and take a look at that bark close up. Okay, you can see even with this older choke cherry tree, the flowers are the same. Leaves are the same. But instead of having smooth bark, this bark is quite rough. Kind of resembles a jack pine. Here's another one. This one got, we've had a lot of storms here in the last couple of years. This one's been blasted off, but. All right, so I brought this inside so we can get some better light. It's getting dark outside. But if you can see these leaves, I don't know how clear this is. And you know, you can read about them all the time, but just to see it, it's got the center thing going up, and then it's got the veins that go kind of up at an angle. And if you can see this on the size of these leaves, I can do this and film at the same time, the leaves along the edge are jagged, little tiny jagged edge. Shiny light green on this side shiny little bit duller on that side but if you're if you have this tree in your yard you can go out there and look right now and that's what the flowers look like the berries they're purple I don't know about the size of a pea in the fall when you eat them your mouth gets a little bit numb they make great jams and jellies not much for eating by themselves but I have ate a lot of them but still they're just not that great one other thing with the uh, choke cherry is the wood itself. It's a hardwood. Uh, I use it for smoking sometimes. It's similar to apple, uh, which is nice. It gives it a nice flavor. And you can also, if you're into making furniture like my dad is, you can make some pretty nice furniture out of it because when you cut it open, it's got like purple inside of it. And when you varnish that up, it looks really nice. There's like little purple streaks in it. So anyway, that's just a, just, just a cross-reference for a choke cherry. Maybe this fall we'll look into the berries and stuff like that, but right now we don't have any, and that is what we've got. Thanks for watching the Jones Act Survival Channel.